today we're going to be taking this footage, tracking it in After Effects and then going directly into Unreal Engine. So I've opened After Effects and loaded in the footage. Let's add our 3D camera tracker. This will take a moment to compute. I'll speed this up. 3D Camera Tracker has now solved this at 1.76 pixels. I think that's as good as it's going to give me for this shot. I have previously created a tutorial on tracking in Blender. I'll link that above. I think Blender gives you a bit more control over your tracking and making sure your solve error is much lower. So how do we get this into Unreal Engine? Well, make sure your camera tracker is selected. You can select some points on the floor. We're going to set a uh, ground plane and origin and we're also going to create a solid and camera then make sure you've saved your project and all you need to do from here is go to the export menu and select max on cinema 4d exporter so this exact method that i'm using for tracking footage and sending it directly to unreal engine was used in my previous video and i know some of you are here to find out which shots i used this technique on here they are on screen right now. And out of everyone who commented, only one got it right. And that was you, Soren Papa. Well done. There are no prizes. So now we're in Unreal Engine and we're gonna go straight into the plugins menu. And we're going to enable Datasmith. And it has Datasmith C4D Importer and restart the engine. Now that the engine has restarted, very simply go to the Create Content button, Datasmith, and File Import. And navigate to the folder that you saved your C4D file in. There's mine, and open. Save it into the Content folder. So in the Content Browser, you'll see an Animations folder. Inside there, there is a level sequence which will literally contain the keyframes from your After Effects sequence. If you double-click on the level sequence, It'll open in Sequencer. You may then notice a few weird things. So first of all, I'm not seeing any keyframes to start with. And <laughs> I also did not have 18 million frames. I don't have that many frames. We're just gonna zoom right in at the front here. <laughs> and there they are. If we then go back to the outliner, we can select the 3D camera tracker. If we press play now in the timeline, you'll see it's moving. And that is good. Now the second weird thing. After Effects, it doesn't have any way of telling Unreal the scale of the scene. So it's going to look really weird. In fact, we have our 3D camera selected right now. And you can see all of the keyframes in the viewport here stretching off an incredibly long distance. And that is quite simply because it's come in huge, basically. So again, I'll play through the timeline. You can see the camera traveling along there yeah it, it's obviously wrong so to fix that we are then going to scale the parent object and the problem is I don't really know how much to scale it by in my previous attempts I've scaled it down to something ridiculous like 0 0.01 so I'm going to try that and see if it works 0 0.01 that's obviously too small so I'm just going to actually just click and drag Till, till I'm around about my height, I guess. 0 0.07, let's try 0 0.08. Now let's see how far we travel. That feels more like a walking pace. So that's, that's, that's better. So let's say the scaling is what we're after. We now need to reposition the camera because it's uh, completely askew and not, very pretty, basically. I should just be able to rotate this parent object. And there we go. It is repositioned within the environment and that is our camera move. So this is obviously mega useful if you want to bring in natural handheld camera movement for your Unreal Engine projects or short films. I am now going to try something with this camera move. I have removed the sky from the footage and now I'm going to try and do a sky replacement using Unreal and add a few extra objects to try and make that scene a little bit more dynamic. So I'm going to have a little experiment now, but the end result for you is now. 